If you're looking for exercises to help with Achilles tendon pain, you've probably stumbled across eccentric calf strengthening, commonly referred to as Alfredson's Protocol. In this video, we'll go over how to do those exercises, as well as some additional tips that you should know. First, let's start off by talking about what the Alfredson Eccentric Loading Protocol actually is. So, it's obviously an eccentric muscle contraction based program, which means that when the muscle is contracting, it's actually going to be lengthening. So, for the Achilles, it's actually going to be a heel lower as opposed to a heel raise. And these exercises are performed for three sets of 15 reps twice per day for a total of 12 weeks, so essentially three months. And so each repetition, so each lower, is going to be over three seconds to really focus on that eccentric muscle contraction. And then these are performed with both a straight knee, which is going to focus a little bit more on the gastrocnemius muscle, one of the calf muscles, and then also for a bent knee variation, which is going to focus a little bit more on the soleus muscle. And as a rehab program for Achilles tendon pain, this is obviously a fine program, but there are a couple things that you should know about the actual loading protocol. The first thing that you should know is that there doesn't actually appear to be a benefit to isolating that eccentric muscle contraction, which is a little bit ironic because this whole Alfredson eccentric loading protocol is geared towards the eccentric muscle contraction. But when we actually demonstrate the exercise, it gets a little cumbersome because what you have to do is use both feet to raise your heels up off the ground and then lift one leg up and then slowly lower the other one down so you're isolating just that eccentric muscle contraction. It's not a big deal, but we can actually just make it simple and just do a single leg heel raise so that we go up and then down and then we wanna just perform this over six to eight seconds and it'll be just as effective so we don't actually need to isolate that specific muscle contraction. The second thing you should know is about the quantity of loading. If we do some quick math here, it's 180 reps per day with the Alfredson protocol, which is a lot of repetitions. But when we actually look at some of the research, we see that doing as many as tolerated actually produces just as good outcomes as the Alfredson protocol when looking at both pain and function. And in that study, the average was about 110 reps, so it's still a lot of repetitions, with the range being around 80 to 120 per day. Unfortunately, we don't know what the minimum amount of load needed is to produce a good outcome. However, three sets of 10 reps of body weight heel raises might not be sufficient enough load for that Achilles tendon. So when we're doing our rehab for the Achilles, we wanna make sure that we're loading it sufficiently, that way we're having a good outcome. The last thing is loading an insertional Achilles tendinopathy versus a mid-portion Achilles tendinopathy. An insertional Achilles tendinopathy is when there's pain where the Achilles tendon attaches onto the calcaneus, so right on the back of the heel. For these, they're typically a little bit more sensitive to compression, so as we bring the ankle into more dorsiflexion, it might actually lead to some more pain as that Achilles tendon is compressed against the calcaneus. So when we're doing our heel raises, we might actually do them just on flat ground. That way we're not loading into so much dorsiflexion and then we can just gradually progress from there. For a mid-portion Achilles tendinopathy, we're not as concerned about the compressive loads when loading into dorsiflexion. So we can actually do them on an elevated step. That way we can go through a larger range of motion and load a little bit more towards the end range in that dorsiflexed position. Hopefully this video on Achilles tendon rehab was helpful. Remember to be patient when you're rehabbing. It could take several months to return back to running or jumping or returning back to sport. And that we gradually want to increase the loads that we're placing on the Achilles tendon. So we might add in some hops or some other plyometric exercises depending on whatever the demands of the sport are. I'll leave a video over here so you can see some examples. I'll see you guys in the next video.